they saw him as a son, so they're having a really rough time right now. Friends are mourning the death of a construction worker killed at a Clearwater work site. Police say he was working in a trench when a steel plate fell on him. This is Nightside on Carolina Lead. And I'm Ryan Bass. This story is just awful. Tonight, his friends are still trying to get word to his family to inform them that he has passed away. That's why we are not naming the man who died working on a stormwater project near Hillscrest Avenue and Jeffers Street. That is where Nightside's Bo Zimmer is tonight. Investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what happened here, how a worker ended up dead. This 35 year old was working down in this area on this stormwater drainage project when something went horribly wrong. The employee was crushed between the sidewall and that metal sheet. Friends of the victim say he came to America more than 10 years ago while his loved ones remained back home in Mexico. We are trying to get a hold of his family and let him know what's happening. They still don't know. Carolina Bravo says she and other members of the victim's church became his adoptive family here in the States. He was especially adored by church pastors. They saw him as a son, so they're having a really rough time right now. OSHA continues investigating what caused the metal plate to fall. And while his church family has plenty of questions, they say their friend will never be forgotten. I'm definitely at peace because we're believers and I know he, he believed in, in Christ. So I know he'll be in a better place, so that gives me a lot of comfort. He was loved by a lot of people there. He will be dearly missed for sure. Hopefully they get word to his family soon. By the way, we reached out to OSHA to see if the construction company Keystone Excavators had any other issues in the past. They did not have any record.